So OpenAI just launched ChatGBT Atlas, and I think it's probably going to be the Google Chrome killer. I can't wait to dive into it. Um, I'm going to give you the quick overview. I'm going to play around with it for like five to 10 minutes just to see what we can do. And um, that's it. If you guys don't mind, go ahead and comment ChatGPT Atlas for the YouTube algo. And for the next couple minutes, I'm going to eat some creatine plus report my numbers from the day before. If you guys aren't into that, simply skip on ahead using that YouTube progress bar. Hope you guys are all doing well. It's a very crispy and nipply Tuesday morning. <coughs> Your boy woke up a bit later yesterday, but it is what it is. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. So yesterday we did 978 in total revenue, down $50 from the day before. We have Amazon coming in at 125. Media Vine at eighty-two dollars, and the adult revenue source at seven seventy-two. Let's get on with the episode, guys. All right. So if you sign up for the first link in the YouTube description, you get sent the URL to this sheet. Today is October twenty-first, um, episode six seventy-two. I don't know why it's uh, out of order, but it is what it is. Um, in my in my side, it looks okay. Now. I'm going to walk you guys through it. So as, as you guys know, Perplexity already launched something similar, okay? Um, but yeah, so they launched something similar. I'm pretty sure ChatGPT is like, yo, what the heck is this? We have to launch something quickly. And I love it. I love it so much. Um, I like the idea. I haven't tested it because it launched literally 30 minutes ago. So I wanted to hop on. So what I did was I copied and pasted the entire uh, up, like the page. By the way, it's on chatgpt.com slash atlas if you guys want to go in. So I just pasted everything in to chatgpt and I asked it, yo, tell me about it. So here it is. It summarizes pages, fills forms, takes actions, and remembers what you've done in the past with privacy control, which is BS. There's no privacy anymore. But I'm okay with it if it saves me time. All right. Now it follows you anywhere online. Dude, this means... Stuff like Browser Blast in the future is going to be even better. I can't wait. All right. Think of it as a side chat. So like a sidebar, it would be like here. And it has all the memory from future. And you have automation baked in. Wow. Insane. So you can open ChatGPT in any sidebar, summarize articles in the post. Sick. So like screw reading, right? Because like, you know, in the past, like you're just copy and pasting like whole um, posts. So now I can probably... Yeah, I, I have a couple examples, all right? Built-in memory, love that. What you've done inside the browser, you control toggle on and off. No, no, I don't want to clear any memory ever. I hope their context window is large enough, meaning like if I want them to save like millions of pages, can they do that? Can they remember everything? I don't know. Well, we'll see, all right? Agent mode, the main game changer. So it can take actions for you. Meaning, hear me out. Reddit warm up, sick, all right? Um, meaning outreach, sick, cold email writing, sick, rewriting, awesome, um, repetitive data mining tasks, sick. All right. It asks permission before executing, sick, awesome. Compare pricing, sick. You can use this for like, I don't know, airlines. I'm trying to look for the cheap, cheapest flights using points from X to Y. Awesome. Possum. All right. Highlight text anywhere. ChatGPT pops up and rewrites suggestions. Awesome. Works in emails, documents, calendars, Notion. It's mostly like a VA with your cursor like this. Privacy control. I don't care about privacy. All right. Um, like I literally don't care. I don't do anything crazy. Real world use cases. They say plan and book and trip. I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to do that. Research competitors and have a summarized key pricing points. I can't wait. I'm going to show you. All right. Rewrite cold emails and proposals inside Gmail. Eh, it's whatever. Compare affiliate programs or SaaS tools side by side without leaving the tab. Pretty cool. Summarize Reddit thread or YouTube transcript instantly. That is awesome. All right. So pretty much it's just, yeah, like a lot of automations can be done. Search, click, read. 
CTR, sick. Definitely the first real threat since Chrome. I wonder if uh, how Google stock is reacting to this. Down 1.62%. Awesome. Good. Good. Expect Atlas and Sora plus agents to merge into... Yeah. Internal teams can now deploy Atlas browsers with memory. I didn't know that. Where does that say that? Let me see. Business. Cool. All right. Let's take a look at it together. All right. Um, see if I can share a screen here. All right. I'm in. I'm in. Um, let's see what we can do here. All right. Okay. Agent mode. Agent mode. Sick. Sick. All right. Um, let's see what I can do. Pretty good spreadsheets. Let's go to Reddit. Um, Browse Reddit. Um, use it as a warm up. Let me find the um, Reddit warm up SOP on X that I had. Warm up. Because I had this Reddit warm up, right? And um, that popped off. Trying to find out. Here we go. Agent mode may start logged out. Let's see what it does. I need access to the current page first. Wow, cool. Building up. Oh, sick. It's so like nice looking. Let me see. All right. So now that we're in here, like swimwear, um, it's scrolled. Keep scrolling. See what it does. So it does like it does this, but it's it doesn't seem like it. Screenshot and continuing. It's kind of like jolty. It's not very human like behavior, if that makes sense. Okay, whatever. Um, I want to see X, see what they do with X. So maybe I can go to one of my tweets and then summarize it. Um, have to log in. Everything has to be logged in, I guess. I forgot which account my ex is linked to, but let's just log in here. Ugh, authenticator. I'll do that later. Um, wonder if we can do use CTR. So, okay, that's ChatGPT. Search, um, search for local uh, local rank tracker. Um, Pogo stick the result previous to local rank so click local rank and then um stay on the page for one minute and engage on the uh home page see if it'll do it interesting right Let's see oh interesting Okay, search for local rank tracker and click local rank. So, see if it'll do it. And also, it was like you can use it to analyze certain um, certain pages as well, right? Like, for example, I, a lot of the times I ask it to like, how do I optimize my landing page? That's actually probably the most interesting thing. I'll, I'll show you guys.
cool. Um, next up is let's let's stop this. Um, tell me how we can optimize this landing page. Which like which you what's the URL to this page? Like it doesn't show you the URL, right? Does it? Tracker. Oh, this is the tracker landing page. I don't use it right now. That, I think that should be the most interesting part uh, now that I think about it. So I'm going to have another tab open, trackings.ai slash Reddit. Um, so what I wanted to ask is like, um, how can we optimize this landing page for CRO? Pretty sick. Turn Reddit. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Sub headline seems a bit long. I like that. Ooh, I like that. Download the Red free Reddit playbook. Okay. Pricing section. Ooh. This is pretty sick. Let's see what it said about... um. Wow. Okay. I think this is probably the best use case for it. Anyways, I don't want to be like, I don't want to show too much today because I still want to play around with it. But um, let me answer some questions from the day before. If you guys like episodes like this, where I play with the new products, all right? Comment ChatGPT Atlas for the YouTube algo. First comment in the comment section if you guys want to get it. And let me answer some questions from the day before. All right, all right, all right. So let me see channel member status because there was a lot of comments actually yesterday, surprisingly. So you saw it too or do you get it? You get the video and edit it further. Sometimes I edit it further, um, but not often. Should I run all my citations through an indexer? Yes. Um, you should probably just run it. It's cheap enough. Sorry to make ads. Awesome. I heard this SEO tactic. People are zooming into their rank tracker grid and zooming into the points outside top three to see what neighborhood areas those points are in, then creating a page targeting that area. Like if someone wanted to rank more places in Vancouver, I saw Gas Town, they were ranking four, they'd create a page targeting that neighborhood and do that for every point outside top three. Have you heard or tried this before? No, I've never tried it. It seems like an interesting topic. Um, but anyways, that's it for now. Have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.